YouTube. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here, Smoky Cranberry. And I'm going to start off with um, Painterly Paint Pot. All over the lid, up to the brow bone. And then I'm going to take um, Black Track with a 242, 242 and put that on the lid. And I'm going to use this as a base sparingly. And at the bottom, the lash line as well. I'm blending out the edges so I don't have any harsh lines in between. Okay. And then I'm going to take a 217 and cranberry. You see it right there? Swirl it in there, work it into the brush, and I'm gonna Put that in the crease. Just like that, dragging some color down so I get a good fade. Okay, and then with a fluffy brush. And uh, vanilla, I'm going to use that as a highlight color. And a smudge brush, 214, on the bottom lash line with carbon. Connecting the lower line. And then I'm going to go in with carbon and just a regular eyeshadow brush 213. I'm going to apply this on the lid. And I'm going to use the 213 I used for the cranberry and I'm going to blend the um, crease area where the carbon and the cranberry meet so I have no harsh lines. I could use a little bit of carbon. And then um, I'm going to line my uh, upper water line, okay, and I'm going to curl my lashes. Please, Please give it a good lift. And then I'm going to use my um, Fiber Rich.
Okay. And then I'm going to take my soft and gentle mineral skin finish and a 168 and I'm going to swirl that in there. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones running down the center of my face. Okay, and then 129, and I'm going to use um, Floor Power, and apply blush right on the apples of the cheeks to the hairline. Okay, and then for the lips, I used um, Plink, just so that I have so much going on with my eyes and just a little bit of a soft lip. So, and that completes the look, and I'll post pictures so you can see more detail. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.